Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Wang Xiaohui for China.org.cn. Camping, cycling, mountain climbing, picnics, frisbee. These are some trendy outdoor activities that today's Chinese are keen on. Now, if you come to Chengdu, Sichuan, you can enjoy such outdoor fun almost right at your doorstep. That is because the metropolis is building itself into a park city. Building a park city requires harmony and cohesion among nature, people, and urban development. Chengdu is famous for its gourmet cuisine, alluring scenery, and the local people's fashionable yet leisurely lifestyle. The city also boasts unique natural endowments. Chengdu sits in the west of Sichuan Basin and to the east of the Tibetan Plateau. In this city, one can enjoy stunning views of snowy mountains and gasp at the meandering Minjiang River that cuts through the city. This time-honored works of nature have bestowed Chengdu with abundant ecological resources for building itself a park city demonstration zone. Naturally, we have noticed a deep fusion of parks and urban space in Chengdu in recent years. To date, Chengdu has built over 1,300 parks of various kinds, with greenery coverage reaching 40.3%. What's more notable is that at the start of this year, the greenway of the ecological rim parks was finished. The over 100-kilometer-long greenway links over 133 square kilometers of ecological parks and has become a new calling card for the city. In these parks, Leisure and exercise zones keep improving in their functions, enabling people to live a healthier and greener life. Moreover, before 2035, Chengdu will continue to restore its ecological system and step up efforts to build the giant Panda National Park. The parks in Chengdu will merge with commercial precincts, during which time the special ecological setting will be a catalyst for building Chengdu into an international hub for consumers. In the meantime, Chengdu will continue to transform its production model to one of green and low-carbon development and create a first-class business environment to further spur the economic vigor of this park city. One can say the efforts of Chengdu are turning people's visions of a park city into reality step by step. In fact, it has been a long-standing wish for humanity to build beautiful cities. For over a century, the concept of a forest or garden city, among other city types, have appeared in different parts of the world. But Chengdu, the park city, stands out from the rest. Not only are green spaces designed all over the city, it also pursues integration of natural ecology with people's daily lives and production models, as well as urban culture, thus reconciling human, urban, environmental, and industrial factors. In my opinion, Chengdu's building of the Park City Demonstration Zone reflects efforts to explore transitions for China's mega and super cities. It mirrors a paradigm shift in ideas on urban construction and development adopted by the Chinese government and the Communist Party of China, especially in the recent decade. Placing people at the center, pursuing higher quality urban development, and providing people with a more premium life, enriched by an adequate sense of gain, happiness, and security. Following the blueprint of building a park city, Chengdu has become a city more suitable for people to live and thrive. It also depicts visions for the development of people-oriented and eco-friendly Chinese cities. Thank you for watching.